Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. My name is Tyler Spur, this is your Beast Gaming Channel. Today, episode 5 of the prologue. We're starting our battle on May 27th, 459 p.m. My sentinel can't take much more of this. It's like that thing has a wall protecting it. How am I supposed to damage it? Judging by the big crane? That one's probably a high quad. Tommy, why are you... What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi, I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like... Did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. Her HP bar is really, really no, low. Tony. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah, you're right. Sentinel number 23, returned. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my sentinel. Oh, God, does a sentinel? You charged out first all thumping your chest, and it took you this long to get here? The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. All the ones attacking the Vortex. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Or that giant thing. Wow. Tony Sentinel won't be much good against it. It's but huge. Your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. Victory condition, destroy all kaiju, lost condition, terminal destroyed. Okay, so I got one sentinel that's being repaired. There's still Let's turn this around. What do I do? Um, I need you to, so you have demolisher blade. Arm out and excavate as slices through ground kaiju and front heavy damage ignores armor. And we have leap attack. Okay, so I, wow, this guy can move far. Yeah. So I can definitely uh, go ahead and uh, be on the assault. Die already. Yeah. See ya. Nice shot. Okay. Oh my gosh. Did they just get reinforcements? We've got two more threats incoming. Hope you all having a wonderful day today. By me. I was just thinking I was running out of ass to kick. My sentinel's fixed. I can get back on the field. Please, Tommy, let me fight with you. Okay, so how do we do this? I'll protect you. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. <laughs> when Settle's HP reaches zero, it will be immobilized, so the pilot will be ejected onto the battlefield. That doesn't sound good. Immobilized sentinels automatically retreat and begin repairing, but they'll be temporarily inoperable. Without the protection of the sentinel, any pilots on the field can easily be killed by a mere explosion. So it's not the end of the world if a sentinel reaches zero HP. However, the pilot could die. Avoid this by moving to a safe location and performing the repair function. I won't I can do this. There's still this isn't so hard. Okay, so the other one is repairing. We have long-range missiles here. The poison mine at target area upon detect kaiju explodes overheating them. Love the, the FMV as well. Place your shields on allies within target area. Fire laser beam within area puts a sentinel. Okay. I need to move. She's kind of far away. 
Oh wow, she's got like... She must can fly or something because she can move indifferently than everyone else. Um, right here? Let's turn this around. How about you? You have long range missiles. But again, I would like you to get a little bit closer. Yeah, I would like this you to get a little bit closer. Um, let's put you right here. This scroll is fast. Okay, um, play a torpedo. Okay, take out a lot here. Did I just accidentally hit my sentinel? I mean, my um, my protective area. What do I do? Okay, you need to wait or no move closer by it. just Number a little. 10, okay. What now? Number ten, moving. I'll try. I ought to be used to fights by now. Okay. Can't. Okay. So, what's my next move? Let's see. Uh, those guys aren't flyers. That one's a flyer. Just a little bit out of range. I think. I'll handle this. How do they felt that? What do I do? Hmm. I really wish I would have gotten a little bit closer than that. Okay, I need to bust through these guys. Because I can't get to the guy in back. Guy's still blocking me. Let's do this. Get That's it. That mine I played just isn't working out for me. Uh, the flare torpedo, because it's um, it didn't go as far as I wanted it to. Could try to take out the G mole here. May not be the worst idea. <laughs> Didn't take it out though. Okay, now we can go for this for both these guys. Can I hit both? That's not good. Um. Was that okay? Did I? Yeah, we took out a lot of missiles there. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. What do I do? We just took zero damage because we got the shield up in time. Here comes the pain. Get bent. See ya. There's one down. They won't let turn this around. Explosion at heart because we had the shield up. I think this is the last guy left. Still alive. We must survive. Number twenty-three. We will not lose. There. Got it. Oh, these guys are tough. These little spider guys. Come on. Got That's what you get. They won't Oh dear lord, this is bad. Oh, okay. Well, that works. What just happened? That could have been really bad if they just all spawned on top of me. Confirmed. That area is now secure. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. Megumi, when we're done with all this fighting, we should go get some crepes. <laughs> I know a great little place near school. Yeah, wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D forces have changed course. Excellent. 
These are really fun. Like I can see how they can get. Let's go. I can see how they could um get annoying as the game gets progressively more difficult. But at the same time, I, I think that's like part of the puzzle mechanic of the game. You know how in Zero Escape, um, the puzzles were literal puzzles that you had to solve. In this game, the puzzles are these tower defense sequences, basically. And I might be okay with that. I I'm having fun with it. Chu Amiguchi's story is not available. Cool. Cool. Sunset. Ke uh, oh. Keaki Cho Shopping District. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? I'm done talking. Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. This girl is really... Man, look at her stare at me. It's like, you're not gonna get involved, are you? Takemi Wajima. Otherwise known as Tak of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Nigakuri Industrial School. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? <laughs> no way. I only trashed three of these clowns. <laughs> now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. Dude, your reputation's about to get burned again if you don't step off. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. <laughs> Still running that mouth. Now come on. Oh, that was a mistake. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. Oh. Oh, nice shot. I like this guy. Just news flash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Tommy <laughs> Gucci. Time to go. Follow me. I like this sister chivalry there. Sunset. Suwabuki Pass. Hey, Mud away. You gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya san? Because I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Uh, does this guy hear himself? <laughs> what? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. This is a hopeless romantic. Yuki Takamiya. Yuki. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. Oh, excellent. You're kidding. Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. <laughs> you wanna go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. <laughs> I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really, it's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district. What, you got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation. I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. It's basically what I might be if I was a uh, anime character. Well, thanks for the ride, I guess. Although I don't know if I have the uh, 
But your driving sucks, man. <laughs> I don't know if I hey, had the uh, uh the gonads to uh You got a boyfriend? To talk that blatantly oh, hell no. to a woman. Oh. Cool. When he starts school. I'd be more the shy I'm type, I guess. Next week. Can't wait. Like I'd be the shy type who more defend uh, someone in trouble. But then after defending them, I'd be like, yeah, you had this, you didn't need me. I'm just gonna be over here. You're good. Uh, nice to meet you. Bye. Um, Oh, it's the nurse. I still want to hear her, uh, her speak again. I knew it. That was Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? Uh, because, uh... Gregory Stockton says that uh, Sleephead, Yuri, and uh, that's it for the Type 98 bipeds. The top heavy Turned nurse are voiced by in close combat. Boss from I the Somnium Files. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would've been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. Who is this? As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate? Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> Right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? okay basically everything's operational aside from the legs well that's kind of a problem that's also kind of a problem hey you might want to hurry up things are getting bad out here they've taken the last mainframe we've lost but it's not over yet listen I've got just enough power to send you. As soon as the system's ready, you need to shift. What are you saying? No time left. Can't make it back. Sixteen years ago, I'll be on Sumire Bridge. Find me and tell me everything. Next time, Itakun. I know you'll find a way. <gasps> Miss Morimura! Oh, that's Miss Morimura? Holy cow. She looks completely different. How'd she activate this shift though? Late night, shoot, I'm gonna get you to part me. I mean, she had all her clothes on. Uh, that, that must mean that again. she wasn't directly linked That's into the definitely machine. definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. A giant mecca, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez, like a kid who's been watching too much anime. <sighs> oh, sorry. But man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Ooh. Huh. Did I 
the TV on? Kind of late for a music show. I feel like I recognize those lyrics, too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. Turn off TV. You can do that in a second. Let me, um, look around first. Alright, uh, let's look at the thought bubble. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like yeah. sending those curry guys to the hospital. I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. <laughs> Sorry, I have a problem where like my finger slips. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Nika Curry. It's really annoying when I'm playing a uh to eat every day game like the uh, the horror games because like my hands will get all yeah they just get all um what the heck how did it turn itself back on uh i swear if a giant teddy bear jumps through the tv i might be What? I finally found you. Now it's a drama. Are you dreaming? Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Shu Amiguchi. <gasps> You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please, save me. Yuki Inaba. How was a quick prologue? Episode 6, Wave 6, getting the end. May 27, 514. Calm down, Yuki-chan. We've got Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta fight Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan fast. There! I finally got through! Yuki-chan! It's me! Nachan! I'm glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. What? No! No, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something, now! Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? Whoa, ho, ho. I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dimos called hunters. There's a lot of them. Great, we got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kinda short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the meta chips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them? <laughs> Boy, we all better watch out for her. All right. I'll start. Hope I can pull my weight. What do we got here? Random bars are missiles like Kaiser within target areas, slowing the movement. Okay, so these guys are aerial. Ah, there's a lot of them. And I could fire this way and start from the left. Left is always right after all. Gotcha. Um, 
So you guys are the same. You're both aerials. I kind of missed one now. Wait, you're all the same. Kind of want to hit the three of them all at once. What's my wait time here? Five seconds, six seconds. You know what I could do is I could deploy mine like right here. Wow, that mine, that mine works really well. Holy cow, that thing is amazing. I think that mine took them all out. Yeah, that was incredible. Oh my lord, that is a lot. Oh, that's a lot too. And there's a biggie. They're splitting up. Some of those guys look pretty tough. Okay, there's a lot of them, but as long as we stay cool and stick to the plan. These clowns are gonna need more than numbers to take me <laughs> You want a piece of me, shitheads? Come and get it! I like you, Key. Here's the plan. Okay. Really like this mine for what it does. Fortunately, it can only be fired very, very long range. So these guys are gonna move forward. Oh wait, can fire like right here maybe? How's this? A lot of them are gonna move forward before that gets maximum damage, but are we winning? Still gonna take out quite a few. Great, although I don't like the fact that you're kind of exposed now. Don't screw with me. Could help her by firing this here. This. Since we're all kind of like locked onto her. What now? And you can go Try that way. It. Nailed it. I got him. As long as I can keep this thing moving. And you oh, there's a couple that are loose. You can hit all three of these. Shoot, I missed one. Hope I can pull my weight. Need to get rid of that one. Gotcha. That's some okay, What's HP. Amaguchi's getting hurt. Uh she's doing really well though. Um, I can hit both of these guys with this. Here. Nice. Good. Clears them out on the bottom left. Hit confirmed. Talk that easy. Um, you need to move out of the way. I'm about to get creamed. Number twenty one on the left. I need you to move. Are we? Need you to move quickly. Number twenty. Here's the plan. What's optimal? Okay. Take out this guy. Good. That's my win. Hope I can pull my weight. Take out this guy and I'll set the one in the back. Bingo. Enemy down. Woo! Okay, let's do this. Barely avoided that laser beam. Come forward a little more. Okay. Leg spike. This is Kaiju with leg spike. Unleash electrical. Overheating them. So I kind of want to do this to hit him from behind. Don't screw with me. That do it. Nice. Your 
prayers. Very nice. Uh, the hell just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. This area's terminal has been shut down. Wow. Did you see that, Yuki-chan? That UFO must have some unbelievable power. Calm down, Amiguchi. We still gotta meet up with Nachan. Calm down, she says. Like she wasn't the one raging out a second ago. <laughs> Man, this is rough. And I, I saw how the Metagars I could have fired too. Kind of forgot about that. I mean, we are playing pretty well right now, so it's good. A Siki Gahara story is now available. Sorry if I'm butchering these names horribly. I try to do the best I can. Uh, A? Is it A? A? -E? I hope they really say his name. Uh, Sekigahara. <laughs> I love the flash artwork. It's so good. 1985, sunset, building the top. No way out. Where'd he go? Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, A eh, Sekigahara. A hey. Sekigahara. Hey, okay. What do you want from me? Tell me. Uh, guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because... You came from another dimension. Another dimension? Dimension? Enough with the games. What? Tell me the truth. <sighs> Resistance is futile. Surrender now or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. <laughs> another dimension. Could that really be true? Just knocked him out. Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories, they're gone. The top door. Mysterious man. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? A Sekigahara. He doesn't know the name. No use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. He's a lot like um our other friend. Kurabe? Has he been um changed as well? Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Wait, wait, check belongings. Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Take a look at those. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Bang. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, 
I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. <sighs> Two days ago, raining back alley. Where but you got a chance to look I? at the door. How did I get here? I can't remember anything. So something happened. That what makes you forget this? who you were. Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? But everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Is this thing, why would I be care? Okay. Ooh. Hey, it's the nurse. Hey, miss. Are you okay? <sighs> miss Moi Mora? She isn't breathing. Probably said that wrong. I wonder what happened here. That's no use. I still can't remember anything. Did you both get transported back at the same time? <sighs> Is it possible that I did this? Well, if this game was called Dark City, you'd really be wondering that, wouldn't you? Ooh, shout out to Dark City. Love that movie. If you like sci-fi and you like The Matrix, go see Dark City. Dark City actually came out before The Matrix, and yet there's a lot of things in The Matrix that look like it was ripped directly from Dark City. Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Woman's body. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? Hmm. I'm out of the floor here. Pills? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. The pills erase our memory? There's a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Cryptic note. Are there any other clues around here? Hmm. She has nothing else on her. She has nothing. Okay. Oh, we got to read the note. The note says 4436853214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? It's nine digits. The note says 4436853214. No. That's 10 digits. What could it mean? A password of some sort? A phone number, perhaps. There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. And a key. But to what? This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar. Why do you have her ID? But I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me. In one way or another. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key?
someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Well, open up, find out. Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. You may not want to open up in the rain. It's actually kind of smart. ID card is yellow. Why is it yellow? It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a female student. Iori Fuyusaka, class 1B. And now they're all the same. I guess what's yellow, it means I have to examine it further. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Been a while since I had uh, heard the name Chihiro. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. That's the nurse's name. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikishima. Okay, so that's the same. But it's still yellow. Ah, that's why it's yellow. You gotta use this. Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. She can't be dead, though. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Oh, uh, trouble. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. Uh, yeah, go in the alleys. What a mess. The men in black. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transit. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. Imagine waking up with like no memories of anything. I have to escape Kaede River. What do river I do bed. now? And you find like a if body I don't on the get ground. My memories back. What'll happen to me? Hey. There's a few things here. Chihiro Morimura, keep the one I found. Okay, the one I found dead. Not really a whole lot different. Should I go through them though, just to make sure? A note that was included, it says, did I Capture. kill her? Did someone order me to do it? A Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar, but it apparently belongs to me. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. This uh, radio. A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? The note says... 4436853214 What could it mean? A password of some sort? Still think it's a phone number. The notes for what could Okay, so I have to use a cryptic note somewhere.
Did you need something? Look at this beautiful view. You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. So gorgeous. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. Look at that. So amazing. You see the trains down below? It's incredible. I still don't know how they do it. But they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. Meanwhile, we have absolutely no who would, no idea. No idea who this person is. See ya. Oh, wait, wait. Never mind. girl said this belongs to me? Oh, it's Hello. a robot! I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time. So I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> Still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. That doesn't help if I don't you know anything. guy how am I supposed to believe all that still it does line up with what those men in black were saying first things first I need to get out of here if what that girl said is true then I'm not safe here Segigahara's prologue cleared. Alright, I'm pretty sure we have time to uh, do the next battle. Number 19, commence movement. May 27th, 521 p.m. The scout unit's picking up multiple sentinels. Some are even fighting. Hey, Taro, holding up all right? Takatoshi-san, so it was you. No matter the war, it's an honor to fight at your side. Oh, thanks, dude. Shinonome-kun, you deployed without permission from the Shikishima facility? It's my sentinel, isn't it? Don't think I know her yet. Another sentinel's being transmitted close by. Quite a party here. Did I miss an invitation? Hey, kun You came too, Sekigahara? And why are you in that sentinel? As long as it's functional, does it matter? I didn't come here for more of Sekigahara's flim flam. I'm going back to the front lines. Wait, stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. Fine, so you call the shots. You're the only one here with command experience. We will split into teams individually prioritizing attack and defense. The assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? Oh, 
Uh, activate Aegis or destroy all Kaiju. Come destroyed or any pilot killed. Okay. Oh. I I'm going to click on something and uh, something happened. Clear stage by either protecting the terminal until the system activates or destroy the enemies. Sounds very, very basic here. Okay, we could fire missiles. We have machine guns. We have rockets. We could fire a salvo there. Uh, you could leap attack into the middle. Places a guardian at target area. Act as a decoy. Okay. So, fire this here. Gets all their attention. Here's that awesome player torpedo. Fire this one right here. Send you misplaced in the air, restricting Kaiju. Or oh, I can rush attack. You can fire. Wow, these are long range missiles, though. Hmm. Alright, um. Oh, you also have a super gun. Go after that guy in the back. You go after Don't that guy there, chances. which means I need him off. to move forward first. Uh, let's say right there. Don't let up. The practice round's over. Let's okay. And how about you fire some missiles? Perfect. All right, I want you to move. Um, I don't want you to go exactly. The big guy, you two team up. Kind of worried about this side as well. Although I could take care of all those guys. I'm worried about more spawns. How about you just move up? Good. I'll make it work. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Um, a lot of guys there. I'll make it work. I want you just to hold. Don't waste any chances. Can't get behind it. Just go this way. That work? Am I in a place? What next? Okay, number 11, where you at? I guess let's see. The practice round's over. Okay, you're the only one who can move. I don't want to leave attack yet. I'm not in the... Uh... Unbelievable. That is acting like an average. Stay on guard. Okay. Fly a torpedo? Um, fire it right... Here. Gotta take care of a lot of those guys. Take out this row. you to uh punch this guy here goes did that do it not, <laughs> not yet unfortunately not yet okay, should i fire here should i fire here
Did that got all of them? I think that got all of them. All right, you continue to push, uh, pursue the attack. Good. Enemy on the move. Good, good, good. good. All right, long range missiles. Right there. Did I get it? Enemy down. Good. Now then. Okay. 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 Going well. Doing well. Uh, I believe we just have these two. No, we still have these guys up here. Uh, these guys are the bigger threat, and you're closer to deal with them. Um. Could slow him down. Good timing. I might get him as well. Didn't get him. Darn it! All right. Um, punch this guy. How was that? Target destroyed. What can I do? Ah, uh, you can punch this guy. you to move back number 11 moving out um i want you to hold termination of enemy signals confirmed clear fantastic well done guys aegis activated terminal closure complete good job team surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure ending tactical analysis Like I said, really enjoying these um these things. A lot of fun. Beginning of the end. Battle style select. Ooh. So this can be changed at any time. And even balance between battles and story. Makes battles easier. Might temper some of the thrill, but allows you to focus on story. Bumps of the battle difficulty recommend it if you're itching for some ruthless challenge. <laughs> we do do ruthless uh, playthroughs, but that's of story-based games where we want to kill people. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I absolutely see no problem in playing on normal. I actually don't see any problem with playing on casual. After all, we're a story-based gaming channel. We care a lot about story, but I really like this uh this gameplay. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna do normal. And it can be changed at any time, so if we need to, we could always bump it down. I, I'm not probably a huge fan of Intense. Maybe if this was my second playthrough, but for now, we'll just go normal. Most selection unlocked. Play through the story and remembrance. Engage in battles and destruction and review events and lore and analysis. Play through the story of remembrance. Engage in battle and destruction. Review and analysis. Look back on the truth so far. Control the sentinels to face the crisis head on. And walk along the fragments of the past. So we actually get to choose now. Before it was just like giving us analysis and destruction, analysis and destruction. Uh, that's really cool. Wow, we've only gone through 4% of the truths and 7% of the fragments. All right, my friends, well, this is where I think we'll uh, go ahead and take a break. Uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And um, I'm not exactly sure the best way to proceed. I think it I think it'd probably be best to stick with the remembrance and probably do like, you know, at least two of these and then one of these and then two of these and one of these. Um, not exactly sure if you have suggestions on the best way to proceed forward i would love to hear about them in the comment section below but please again no spoilers please no spoilers let me uh let me learn to love this game on my own uh without being robbed of the exploration of it uh, until next time my friends on a blind let's play a 13 sentinels aegis rim my name is flatless bird this is your story based gaming channel until then so long and take care thank you for watching this video 
feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.